Floss Tube. It's Lisa here from the Shady Tree Stitches and I'm here with a very special event video for you. I have started to get into my long awaited storage shed stash to see all the beautiful things that I have collected prior to recent times when I couldn't get to it for the last two years. And some of you have been asking to see it when I find it. So I thought, why not? So I am putting a big fat enabler alert warning on this video because I'm sure there'll be something in here. You're gonna go, ooh, I wanna see that, I want that. Sorry, not sorry, but you know, that's the way it goes. So I'm just gonna show you very quickly what I'm gonna be showing you. I have two tubs of kits and some other stuff. That is not all of it, <laughs> there, there is more. Um, that's not even my whips, that's, this is just my stash yet to be um, looked at. And I know it's gonna be deadly for me too because I'm gonna find things that I'm gonna go, ooh, I wanna stitch that, I wanna stitch that. And for the 2021 20, year of no starts, you can't start anything next year. So I'm gonna have to make some hard decisions. Am I gonna stitch them, start them this year or not? All right, I'm going to turn the camera around, set up properly and see what we find. You might wanna get a coffee. All right, where to start? A little bag with small things so we might start there we got little stitcher cards there was a time before I knew how long cross stitching took that I thought I would make Christmas cards for everyone and I know there are quite a few of you who do do things like that so I um little ornaments and where I've got these from some of these must be Mm, little freebies that have come through in different magazines. A whole set of these holiday stitching ornaments. They're from Darice. Complete in just a few hours. There's a whole bunch of them. And I should say, everything, or almost everything you're seeing today is a kit. So it all has everything I need to do it. I think I could definitely see an ornamentomania in my future. Not next year, maybe the year after. And they're so cute. There's so many of them, so many different ones. As I tend to do, I would have bought the whole set that I could have found. Another card, these cards are from NMI Needlework. Stitch a card and, and again, they come with the, the card and all the floss. Cute little teddy bear. A little coat hanger one that is NMI as well. I don't know who NMI are. As I said, I've been collecting for years and years and years. Um, so anytime I went to a cross stitch shop and found something little, <laughs> look at this one. It's a good old 1990s glasses case, but it comes with a whole case. It's a really cool idea. Uh, bookmark. Craft stuff, so nothing, nothing fancy. Bunnikins. I know I did some of these. I have some of these to show you elsewhere. Lots of different things to show you. So there'll be a few different videos, but that one's really good because it comes with a frame and everything. I've got a good old Debbie Mum teapots. You can see that I like bargain shopping. Eight dollars ninety nine for the kit. And two more in here. Oh, these are so cute. These are um, James Hearn designs from, from the Nate. We've got a little sheepy. He is gorgeous. And a little piggy. So, yeah, that's a box of smalls. The other small thing I found, although I didn't get digging a lot, this. Oh, my goodness. Jenny, I found them. These are Mill Hill beads. Um, local Spotlight was cleaning out a fair while ago. And Jenny and I got in there and they're just like random, random collections of just little bags of Mill Hill, Mill Hill beads. So I have a whole box of beads. Surely there's every color I need in there or some color that would do. I'm not opposed to um, doing different colors. 
All right, I need to get into the next tub. See you in a minute. Okay, the first tub. A lot of different things in the first tub. Random, <laughs> random, random things. I haven't had a good look. I just put them on the table so I can put them in the tub. We have got the Nutmeg Company three-dimensional cross-stitch design miniatures. The Bay Tree Cafe. So you can make yourself little houses. <laughs> Imagine me buying something that I can make a little house. So we've got that one. We've got the flower shop. Again, these are full kits. with everything I need to do them. We've got the shoe shop. And the antique shop. Now, they're really cool because they don't have pre-sorted thread, but they've got a card and all the different coloured fabrics you need to do them. So it's like they're in sort of three parts. You've got the main body, the roof, and then the, the ground. So four of them. I have a whole mass of things from magazines, but they're probably useless because the pattern's probably in the magazine, and I know I chuck the magazines out. All right, we have got... I've actually stitched this one. Well, this one can go to someone else. I can give that one away. It's the wind chime set. So there's my first pattern to give away. I've got another one to stitch here. It's hanging on my tree and it comes with a cross and I've actually started it. So some of these in this box are whips. It's a little free chart. The little toy box. And look at this. 16 Christmas bookmarks. Sweet, isn't it? All right, another whip that I started. It's, it's um glasses case of a cat. And I got bored of it. <laughs> I really should finish it, shouldn't I? I've got, only got his head to go. So, um, yeah, I might put that out. Things to, to do. What's in here? I'm going to get rustling. Oh, it's, yep, another bunny comes. Okay. Interesting. So, those are the other ones that I've done. So, this one here. Now, I don't know what's happened to this one. In 1998, I actually stitched this one. Look at that. It's got this huge brown mark on it. So, I'm going to have to work out how to wash that. So, I have two more of those little Bunningham's ones. Very sweet. Another one I've started is a, one of the cards, a little Christmas stocking. So I have started stitching that one. I have to put everything back as I go because seriously, there's so much here. Oh, here's the back of it. It's pretty neat. But I'm nearly there. So I really should pull that out and finish that. And. Yeah, charm stocking. I might have finished this one. Can't see the remnants of the actual stocking in there. All right. I know this is a pattern I can give away as well. Um, one of the seashells. Oh, I finished that. I know I went through a phase of trying to do things that weren't just um, pictures, so. I've got kitted up some baby bibs to do. Why you would ever cross stitch a baby bib? Because all they do is spew on them. Um, so I have started doing them and it looks like there's something else in here started. These are all things I like, I guess really simply, these are my UFOs. Australian Baby Galar. It's by DMC Australiana. He's very cute. And I should do some more work on him because he's up to there. So I probably should think about finishing him. I've been stuck on the, that hoop for a million years because I used to use hoops before I discovered Q-snaps. Here's another one that started, oh my goodness, <laughs> Olga Goldston, that beautiful house from her Australian Heritage Architecture. Um, its bag is totally disintegrating. 
but I've done that much of it and again on a hoop. I really used to be a very neat stitcher. So we have the whole the whole kit there. So I will put that in the whip pile. This bag. Totally disintegrating. What's next? Oh, this one. A magazine. It's another whip. And it is a black work. The band. It's very me. And I have started doing the band. Seems like it's on a count eighter. <laughs> I have the bass drum done. I would imagine. I was getting sick of doing the black. But there's another one. Pop him out in the whip pot. So there's a couple of random whips in here. Oh, this is exciting. I can't. Oh, there it is. This is some Christmas ornaments. They're cute. So I started them. A um, piece of um, plastic canvas. So that's another whip. A whole bunch. Let's see. This is what I used to store them in plastic bags. Who'd have thunk? I have to rectify that problem. They deserve far better than that. What is this one? Oh, okay. It's a bit ran. It's a bit random. Sorry, my daughter is making sheep noises out the side. So sorry for the interruption. It's hard to do anything when the kids are around. Um, and that was a, a, a piece ready to start of just Smegs, but I can't show you because there's no picture. So basically, it's rubbish. I'm not going to do that. All right, what we got in this one? Oh my goodness, I remember this one. Wow, okay. Well, this one. Design works. Cute. I love cats. Look at all those cats. I've always liked cats. And um, I started it. I have started it. Um, somewhere. Well, <laughs> I've started it somewhere. But it's not here. So I have the pattern. And I have the floss. But I do not have the actual project at this stage. Okay. Well, another one I can give away because I've finished with. I did a baby sampler for one of my friends. Beautiful. It's a um, Bachilla kit. And beautiful baby girl bear. That can go in the giveaway file. Another one of those little um, Christmas ornaments. Oh, what do we got here? Ooh. Looks like it might be a shepherd bush. Shepherd's bush advent sampler. This one I have stitched. It must be somewhere. I've got the working copy there, so I must have already given the pattern away. That can go in the um, look at the beautiful little threads. Should save those silks. All right, what have we got here? That's plastic again. I was a bad girl before I knew. Oh, folk art, welcome. Country welcome. I have stitched that. And it also has strength and honour are her clothing and she shall rejoice in time to come. So that can go into the giveaway pile. So I'm done with that one. And oh, I've still got the leftover threads and the, the 
Ada, so I can dye that one. This one I've also done. I can give him away. Changed out the fabric on him too. It's Semco. My husband used to play cricket when I met him. So I have stitched that one. You may have seen that in a previous video when I have it on the wall. Um, so that can go in my giveaway pile too. And this one I know I never finished stitching another Semco. Little C one. So I know I won't get around to stitching that one either. So that can go in the giveaway pile. Alright, then we've got, oh, I know I've stitched these too. More bunnikins. So, that one. That one I think I showed you with the, the ruins in this. Has the pattern, so give away a pile for that too. Ah. This is going to give away a pile. My Lanate lady. My big African lady who I can't see, but she's charming. There she is on the wall over there. So um, that's going in the giveaway pile too. Don't even wait today. Don't get too excited. Just going in the pile. All right, hold on. There's one more. Wait, it's dropped on the floor. Little Australian bookmarks. Now they're all cute. And I would have UFO'd them because I didn't realise you didn't use two strands on 18 count. So there's a kit there. Put them back in the um in the cycle. Alright, so I think that's all the whips. Like most of my whips are in another box. There's, there's more boxes. So I just this is just what I've got. So these next ones I'm pretty sure are kits and things that I um, have bought to do. So we have got a Stony Creek beads and paper collection. Joy. So that comes on perforated paper. All the beads and everything. So that's one we'll need to come out and get stitched sometime. Oh, said I was finished with the whips and then I find another one. Really, like, it's like Christmas. Alright, the pattern for this is not here, so I can't show you. But it's um, yeah, a set of bookmarks. UFOs. This is a button blessing kit. There is a rainbow. And this is one on plastic canvas. Underway. So there's another whip. My goodness. I now have some old whips, don't I? Alright, look at this. Another baby one. Books, books. It's called Baby Girl Sunshine Line. Really love that. I always love paper dolls really love that idea and it comes with all the beads and things you just got to provide the, the threads I have got a book from Rico design oh Tannenbaum because I was trying to think of doing things that weren't um, just wall hangings so Christmas tablecloths <laughs> and why not Going to go Christmas tablecloths, why not get a whole table runner kit? Jan Lynn Christmas cross suits, holly berry table decor. Full kit. And go even more. Got a Zweigart tablecloth. Comes with the beautiful fabric. Put in cream stitch all these motifs on. We've got, oh, it's hard for you to see them and it's not actually open. Sorry, it's more ornaments with all the plastic canvas. Oh, this is cute. Joy. 
she is a plastic canvas ornament from Jan Lin. She's stunning. Very, very super cute. I'm going to pull kit everything. Wow. I have to do a Christmas thing next year, I reckon. Especially when you see what's on this table. We have got some more Christmas ornaments. Beautiful little angels. They are um, from the Fox collection. Not sure. Karen Harrod. Sorry. More of these beads and paper. This one is called Friends Are the Best Gifts. Super cute. Bought all these before I knew I didn't really like the paper, but now that I realise I've put it on my Lowry, all hearts come home. I um, love the Nordic Needle, back when the Nordic Needle was around. I don't know how many of you remember them, they were awesome. So, they sent me a, a, a photocopied pattern to do for a little Nordic star. I've got the classic canvas and that must have been a free gift they gave me at some stage. We've got Joy Bells from the paper, paper collection. And we've got a little Lenate Lifestyle Connection, which I don't think I will ever stitch, so I'm going to put that one into the giveaway. It's a tiny, oh my gosh, look at the size of the fabric. If you can see it, definitely 18 counts. So that one can go into the giveaway collection. Okay. Now, this box must be Christmas, I think, pretty much. Because we have got another one of these angels called Hope. So again, they're Jan Lin. Full tip. Comes with everything that I need to do her. Definitely see a Christmas mania coming up sometime. Not this year. Peace. <laughs> I was looking at baby things because, you know, I thought one day I'd have a baby. So, I have bought a Bachilla Special Edition Cuddly Friend Sheet and Pillowcase. Now this, I will never do. It's a stamped cross stitch kit. So that's going in the giveaway pile. Alright, another one of the Min Chimes from Dimensions. And then we seem to be landing on my Buttons and Beads collection from Mill Hill. I have got heaps of these and again they're on the paper but I have the frames as well so I'm going to have to stick to doing them on the paper. So we have the toy shop and you guys have seen these a lot some down the track. We have the train depot. We have the apothecary. And Nicholas's Cathedral. Silent Night. Yeah, there's so many of these things. So I just picked out some I liked and Joy to the World. These Christmas ones I may or may not do on the cardboard. Um, Jingle Bells. There's probably more. We'll get there. We've got Mill Hill's Polar Santa. Okay, full kit, ready to go. Just needs me to do it. And Snow Drift Santa. We have got, <laughs> I went through a Mill Hill phase. Here come my Mill Hills. We have got a Charmed Mitten, Angle. We have got a Festival of Trees Victorian Tree Ornament. A tiny Treasure Diamond hol hol Holiday. I remember I did one of these I'm around somewhere, probably in the Christmas tree. Um, I did the entire theme at an athletics carnival at one of my schools. It was great. I was up in the record booth, had basically nothing to do. I sat there 
cross stitching all day. It was awesome. Holiday stocking. Angelic stocking. Holly wreath pin. Charm stocking. Told you there's lots. Uh, old fashioned tree from the Festival of Trees. I love Christmas trees. Something slightly different. I don't know if I'd ever do it, but it's a beaded angel ornament. This is by Doris. So you actually bead that angel. So it's not cross stitch, but it's in here because it's a Christmas thing. All right. We've got more the hill for the post office. And Christmas Village. Another little Christmas tree ornament kit. And this one is a wire welcome from Dimensions. There it comes with the, the thing. It's like a little Christmas thing. Stitch and go patchwork fantasy quilt. And then, because I'm a music teacher, had to buy the Mill Hill Harmony collection. So we have the harp, we have the violin, the trumpet, mandolin, drum, and the horn. But there's more. Nearly through this box. I also got a collection of daydream sets, again for pretty ornaments, so that one comes with the, the whole glass ornament and you stitch the bit in the middle, so I need to get on to doing that. Got seashells, I think I've started that one, I've got a feel of it, and the Christmas one. They're the big kits, and then there's some smaller ones in a disintegrating bag. So, what have we got in here? We have got little shelves. So, these come with the glass coaster and everything. And this one looks like um, oh, hydrangea blossom. Butterfly and sunshine. So again, I got them because I like the idea. I don't necessarily like all the pictures in them. So that, people, is one box. So I'm going to, I think I'll keep going, but I'm just going to pause for a second so I can pack that box up and get the next one ready. The next one's got a whole bunch of big kits in it. Hold on, please. Okay, back again. Slight change of plans. One more whip to show you from the box I just opened, and then I'm going to do a second video for this box because I think it needs a whole video in itself. So, this one, again, because I liked cats, it's a ginger cat. And um, you can see how I had no idea when I started what I was doing. I have done this much of the cat, and he's almost there. Love the masking tape. So, I may have to finish him because he's cute and he deserves to be finished. So he'll have to go into my whip pile. He comes with the frame and everything. So I'm gonna add him to my, my old, old whip pile. Wow, my tastes have changed so much since the 1990s. About 1993, I think, is when I started cross-stitching. I was late in life because I um, hadn't really thought about it till I went away with some uni friends. But then I got hooked. Then I started doing this collection. And then I stopped doing it and I put it all away and I got rid of a lot when I moved to. Um, these are all the ones that I think I might want to do one day. So I kept them 
and as I said there are more boxes coming so it's probably going to be about three videos in this little mini series so thank you for watching hopefully you found something you may or may like in that and stay tuned for the next one bye